G'day and hello beautiful people, it is Mimo here. Up on the block we have the governor, the calm before. I really want to say the calm before the storm, but it's just the calm before. Now of course he is nothing flash and probably is someone that not really people have on their radar or not really people want on their radar because he's not particularly that great by any means but in saying that I use him more than I probably should because I'm very weak in my red department and someone that has a fairly I guess you could say qualified red roster will probably never really use this guy if they have him me personally I lack in the red department though in saying that I've never struggled with greens and I've definitely become a lot more stronger now but I do definitely use him more than I really need to but he he's effective enough at what he does and he is a good attribute to a team but like I said there are definitely better reds out there now he doesn't have the leader skill he rather has the specialist stat which is the part in shot and that basically means when he's killed he's gonna perform a critical hit on the character that killed him you know it's one of the earliest specialty stats to come out so it's definitely I guess you could say bottom scale of effectiveness and you know one of the ones you actually want. Parting shot is definitely not one of them. But it, at least, if I guess if you look at it in a good perspective, at least if you're taking on zombies and he dies, he's going to perform a headshot. You know, that's another way to look at it. I guess that's all right in that regards. Now, he of course he has the triple shoot, which is the 75 AP, which is the normal rate. Very, very disappointing. Like I said, you probably, his card's not flash by any means. Looking at his card, it's not flash and he's very average. And, you know, unless you're really lacking the reds, you're not really going to keep your eye on this guy or let alone use him. But if you do, he's a great place to start, which is why I bought him in this supply depot. I needed reds. He fit the quota. I was buying him and I actually do use him quite a lot. So he's more than worth those supply depot points. Now he deals a 350% damage to up to three enemies. I, it's, they're not re I don't really call those characters multi-hitters, even though they are multi-hitters. I call them more splash hitters, just because of the randomization that comes in with the th up to three enemies. You don't really know which enemy they're going to hit other than the one you select. So he is a 350 splash hitter, depending on the boost you have on him or the buffering you have on his attack or down defense and things like that. He could kill. He definitely could kill up to three enemies. And then he also gives three teammates, up to three teammates, regain 50% of their max HP. So once again, a bit of randomization there with the up to three. Which, if you like controlling things like we all do when it comes to definitely raiding, we like to control the aspects of our players, who they're going to hit, where they're going to hit, and things like that. That randomization and splash hitting sort of effectiveness. It's not something you want, especially if you're a control freak. I guess we're all a bit of a control freak in this game. We like our players to do what we want, when we want them to do them, basically. But like I said, a bit of randomization there, which isn't too flattering. But he definitely is a hitter and a healer, which is really nice. But not even a hitter and a healer. He's a hitter, multi-hitter and a healer, or splash hitter, if you want to say. So pretty nice, and I do definitely find that adrenaline rush effective. 75 AP, very disappointing, of course, but you can speed it up a bit with of AP boosters and things like that, but not going to get it at a 45 AP sort of rate and things. Then, if we move on to his max stats, you've got 788 attack, 803 defense, and... A l oh, 1,092 HP. So, so essentially very average in all those stats like i said he's a very average character a very average card to look at probably the only place he excels slightly and you're pretty happy with is his defense aspect at the 803 that's a pretty nice stat to have but overall he will get the job done and especially if you're looking for a place to start he is a great red to add to the roster but i was always i hope you did enjoy and goodbye